at just 14 years old when we first brought you his story. He's the youngest person in Texas diagnosed with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. Now, almost four years later, he's doing something his family thought might never happen. CBS 4 Stephen Seeley's in the studio, and Stephen, I'm sure this was an emotional day for the Garza family. That's right. When I walked into the Garza home, they were happy that Joseph would be able to be at his graduation because a couple years ago, doctors said Joseph wouldn't even make it to this day. Joseph, Joseph was a loving young boy who loved everybody. Three years ago, when doctors told Joseph Garza's mother, Lori, his ALS was so aggressive that he wouldn't see his graduation, it shattered her heart. It was very devastating. It hurt really bad knowing that there wasn't a cure, knowing that I wasn't going to have my baby. In 2016, he was given an honorary graduation diploma by Hannah High School in Brownsville. Now, two years later, Joseph is still fighting his ALS and will be able to have his diploma handed to him. Joseph was originally diagnosed four years ago. Lori tells me that the disease has gotten so advanced that Joseph can no longer communicate directly with her or open his eyes. He doesn't speak. He doesn't move. Now, one part of his body, his eyes up until maybe a couple of months, He's not able to open them all the way like he used to. To complete his credits to graduate, Joseph has been getting homeschooled for an hour Monday through Thursday. BISD and the special services, you know, accommodated to everything Joseph needed to do to receive his credits. Joseph was transported by ambulance to his graduation at Sam Stadium. His mother says Joseph's fight is truly inspirational and that the love and support from his family pushes him further. No matter what kind of illness, you have, no matter what kind of struggles you go through, your education can keep on going and it's important to keep on getting it. And Joseph received his diploma with his twin brother minutes before the start of the newscast. To see that video, you can go to my Facebook page, Stephen Seeley, CBS4 News. Chris, back to you.